Good morning, good morning. Hello. <laughs> They're all my family laughing at me. I think I'm crazy. Well, here I am. The other people, I don't care about the other people on the beach think I'm crazy. Good morning, Lauren. Happy Sunday. Look, the sun's trying to come out and I'm at lovely Morecambe. Lovely Morecambe. Taking the dogs out. Are you distracting me? Stop, stop talking about me. Stop talking to me when I'm talking, talking on here. Any road up. Good morning, Keris. How are you? Oh, I hope you're managed to get out and about today because it's a really nice day. The sun's trying to come out and look. Can you see blue sky? Blue sky and dogs walking. Dogs, dogs playing frisbee. Where's my old lad gone? I'm on about my old labrador alfie he's 14 and i had to take him to the vets this week because he kept collapsing on his back legs so they give him some um, some anti-inflammatory medicine and he's come to the beach to try out his new legs oh he loves running with the puppies makes him think he's young again see even getting out for a dog walk it's good for it's good for the older um, dogs good morning tracy are you in bed having bed and bread um full english anyway i just wanted to to nip and just tell you about what my plans are for next week and because because oh the crease there they only ever see it when i go on here creases i mean scowling um see what um what we're gonna do next week and because um the topic of self-care is so huge we're gonna do it all again next week and i'm gonna find some different resources some helpful things and i think i'm also gonna talk massage pregnancy massage so we're gonna do a bit of that next week I'm going to try and teach you and that's really helpful for um, pregnant ladies and especially in labour it's really helpful and I'm sorry if it's really windy but I'm on the beach that's what happens so we're gonna I'm gonna do I'm not gonna do live through the week again because you sort of get the idea about the um, scripts and listening to the scripts and listening to meditations so we'll just do a live on Friday I think unless I do a little impromptu um, and what was I gonna say oh yes this week I've been I've been trying to do the three C's and I can never remember them but I do know them I just can't remember them when I have to think about it so you've got to avoid and you've got to you're supposed to do this for a whole week you're supposed to do this um avoid comparing complaining and criticizing right and i started it this week i had to restart twice and both times because i said naughty words because of road rage one time somebody some bloke just walked out in the middle of the road and I just said a naughty word. And the next time, going along Derwent Road through the chicanes, I was already going one way and this car just flew down, coming at me head on. You know, a bit of a, a, bit of a standoff. So I had to end, ended up stopping and going right round. Oh, it wasn't good. And that was just somebody being, being quite inconsiderate, really. So then I had to start again and I'm going to add my own C into the thing. I'm going to make it four C's. So you've got to avoid complaining, comparing and criticising anybody. And the other one I'm going to add in is comment, comment. Because one of the things that have, have, that's come up this week is 
pregnant ladies, especially when they're heavily pregnant, right? People, I don't know why, but people always are compelled to comment on a pregnant woman. And let me tell you, if you don't know, very often pregnant when the pregnant women when they're heavily pregnant um they tell me they feel really fat they feel really fat and i say you've got a gr- you do amazing you're growing a baby in there how amazing is that that you're you're doing all that so i always say it's really important to eat eat a healthy diet you know watch what you're eating and you're not getting fat you're growing a baby you're belly's getting bigger and bigger because you're growing a little a little human being in there how amazing is that they go I feel really fat oh such and such they go oh do you think I'm too big do you think you know because such and such down the street said said oh I think you're enormous now let's just take aside the fact that they're pregnant any woman who wants people to say to them you look enormous I haven't met a woman yet that likes being labelled as enormous. So, you can comment on a pregnant woman, but only if you're telling her how gorgeous and how beautiful she is. How gorgeous and how amazing she is for growing a little person. Because it's, I tell you what, at the end of pregnancy, it gets gets pretty heavy. So, if you've got a comment to say to a pregnant woman... Make sure it's a positive one. Okay? So tell her she looks gorgeous. Tell her she looks gorgeous. Tell her she's amazing and tell her how well she's doing. And I'll tell you another tip. Due dates are sort of estimated due dates. So we never know when a baby's going to come. And if you know a woman who is coming up to her estimated due date, don't go up to them. Don't text them. Have you not had that baby yet? Have you not had that baby yet? Because it makes them feel like, I don't know, the baby's late. They've done something wrong. You know, and that's that's not the case. You know, um, you know, it does, they get tired, you know. So don't say, have you not had that baby yet? Because I'm sure you would know if they'd had a baby, number one. And number two, helpful tip, instead of saying... Have you not had that baby yet? Why don't you say to them, um, is there anything I can do for you? Is there anything I can do to help? I know it's difficult, but they might just say, can you drop me off some milk, put it on the, my doorstep or, you know, you know, try and be more helpful and don't say, have you not had that baby yet? And they go, I haven't had that baby yet, clearly. You know, because it's hard that that last week and maybe next week what I can go into is things that you can do for the week after your estimated due date has passed just to keep your 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 chin up really and you know because sometimes people feel like when they go past their estimated due date sometimes they feel like you know they've been waiting nine months for Christmas and then Christmas just didn't come that's sometimes how it feels and you know the baby hasn't done anything wrong if baby hasn't come on that due date there's nothing it's fine it's fine and it's normal and your midwife will check you out and let you know if everything's normal and if everything's going all right hi danielle hi janet how are you this this morning look at that blue sky I should stand this way shouldn't i because it's much nicer sorry i'm having a bad air day but i'm on the beach and bad air days are what it's all about aren't they Sunday, got a roast dinner later on. I'm gonna make some scones, gonna do some stone painting, gotta make some FIMO animals, and then I'm back at work tomorrow. So I've got a busy week next week. And what else was I gonna say to you? Yeah, oh, 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 got a message about somebody's random act of kindness. It made me cry, it made me cry last night because it was so sweet loving it thank you for sending me messages don't forget tonight i will be picking the winner of the jay shetty book and all i'll need is your address so i can post it to you if it's local i might just pop it through your letterbox 
but anyway we'll see so you guys have a lovely sunday and i'll speak to you soon have a lovely day and if you can if it's nice if it's like this not that that way is a bit gray isn't it oh look at that blue sky the ants are getting cold now but it's so such a beautiful place to come so if you can get out and about even if it's just for a little walk it's really good for you it's not too cold and the blue the sky is blue and the sun is trying to shine so see you soon have a lovely and productive afternoon or just do a bit of self-care and chill and do one of those um listen to that self-care med meditation if you don't know what to do all right speak to you soon bye love you bye mwah, mwah, mwah.